Biome Industries Private Limited is established in the year 1998 uh, with an installed capacity of the 0.2 million ton per annum. And now at present, we have increased up to the 10 million ton per annum. Other core business of the group are construction and real estate power, transportation, power consultancy, and education. My home industry is private limited. My Melacharu unit is an ISO certified company. We have the ISO 9001, ISO 14001, OSS 45001, ISO 550001. And we have the CIE Green Co Gold Rating Award achieved in the 2017. My Home Industries Private Limited is a member of the CSI, a Cement Sustainability Initiative, and also has the roadmap for the sustainability. At the Melacharu plant site, we have the three units. Total uh, capacity is the 3.5 million ton per annum the clinker capacity, whereas the cement 3.9 million ton per annum. Unit one is the 0.8 clinker capacity, and cement uh, capacity is the 0.79, whereas the unit two is the clinker capacity, the 1.3 million ton per annum. And the cement capacity is the 1.11 million ton per annum. And unit three is the clinker capacity, the 1.4. And the cement uh, capacity is the uh, 2 million ton per annum. Cater the, to cater the power, power requirement, we have the captive power plant of the total capacity of the 75 megawatts. We have the WHR system in all the three lines. Total installed capacity is the 12.5 megawatts. Plant technology, it is the total dry process of cement manufacturing technology. Uh, as I said earlier, we have the three units are there. First one is supplied by the Walchan Industries. Second unit plant commissioned by supplied by the Atlas Denmark. And third one is the, from the KSG Germany. We have the online X-ray analyzer ensure quality to uh, at every stage. We have the fuzzy logic system operates at all the equipment with total automation to ensure consistent quality. Now we talk the what is the need of the AFR? Why everybody is uh, looking for the AFR? Because energy resources are limited, energy demands keeps increasing, and energy prices are going up. And as at present, all costs are uh, touches to the sky limits. MCW units utilize liquid pharma waste as alternative fuels in the kiln to reduce fossil fuels, with an aim to avoid the environment pollution, reduce the greenhouse gas emission, and conserve the fossil fuels and natural resources. Best practice adopted for utilization of AFR at our unit uh, uses of alternate fuels. Basically, we are using the pharmaceutical waste in the kiln, and we are using the for the kiln light of PPF, petrolimer fuels, as diesel prices are also increasing. We have the mechanized system for the waste grease and the solid disposal systems. We have the full flash alternate fuels uh, for the system for the liquid firing system. The silent features facility is installed and commissioned in the March 2012. This plant has designed by the and supplied by the FLS Denmark. The total safety and environment standards followed as per the center pollution control board norms. We have conducted the HAZOP, hazards and operability studies by the Chulamandalam Chennai because safety is very uh, priority when you are using the FR. Transportation and feeding system was designed to fire spent organic solvent along with the coal in, in kiln and free calcina burners. We have the total capacity of the uh, 200 KL capacity of the uh, 100 KL of the each tanks which are double boiled made of stainless steel in not four. We have the continuous online level sensor provided for monitoring the quality of the solvent. This total project cost was approximate uh, installed capacity was 12 crore. We have the three systems are there. Well, first one is the unloading pumps, second solvent feed pumps, and the third one is the multi-fuel systems. At unloading pumps, all the flame motors are, are all the motors are the flame proof. The capacity of unloading pumps are the 25 meter cube per hour and the uh, design capacity of the uh, pressure is at three bar whereas the pumping station and uh, the capacity of this uh, pumping station is the eight meter cube per hour and design pressure is the 15 bar as i said we have the three units we have the multi fuel system at each unit the uh, individual capacity of the firing station is three meter cube per hour the total system operated from the plc multi fuel station for regulating and monitoring solvent flow along with optimizing air liquid solvent pressure design at eight, uh, four bar and uh, atomizing air pressure is designed for the six bars. Safety is very much more uh, required for the alternate fuel systems stations. We have the three layer uh, safety stations are there. First one is the temperature sensor, arranged as a storage tank to monitor surface temperature. Whenever tank surface temperature increases, the water sprinkle starts automatically. Second one is the fire hydrant system to cater the external extinguisher. This is the foam type. And third one is the nitrogen blanketing. 
nitrogen generator system with a 30 normal meter cube per hour storage capacity tank for blanketing while unloading and pumping of the liquid waste. Blanket will not allow to allow air to contact solvents. This will eliminate the fire hazards even at the elevated uh, temperature and also not allow solvent vapors to vent out because of the nitrogen pressure at 200 mm. Safety are the very much more important. We have conducted the HAZOP study. The total HAZOP study has been uh, carried out and be commissioning through Massachusetts Chula Mandalam, uh, this Chennai. We have the critical safety features at the alternate fuel stations. None of the persons are allowed to carry their mobile phones inside the alternate fuel stations. So we kept the one stand and so that everybody, everybody who are going inside the station, they can keep their mobile and other electronic equipment collection zone prior to entry at the FL station. And we have the static current interesting pads installed at the entry of the AFL station. We have installed the Q-Track Max fixed at the alternate fuel drive station to absorb the orders. Coincidation trial runs, trial runs conducted as per the Central Position Control Board guidelines through Mrs. Vimta Labs Limited and the, all the emissions level found are well within the limits. As uh, everybody says from the earlier presenters also, we have the uh, challenge faced when we are using the alternate fuels. So receiving quality of the AFL is the main concern while pumping the liquid from storage tank to the firing end. First one is the viscosity. As we are using the pharma waste, Due to the variation in the solvent viscosity, which affect the feeding rates and affect the system efficiency, and sometimes also pump seals are getting damaged. So for this uh, for this rectification, we modified seals from double lip mechanical seal to single lip mechanical seal by cons uh, consulting with different suppliers and reduce the uh, seal damage problems. Second one is the caloric value. In the pharma waste, there are huge variation in the CV. We received uh, earlier. We received from the 1500 uh, local uh, per kg fuel to 5500 local per kg fuel, which resulted in uneven coating tendency increase in kill in burning zone and affecting killing curve burning process. And sometimes we have to stop the forcefully stop the kill because of the high coating uh, formation inside the kill. So for this reactification, we shifted the solvent firing from the kill burner to the kill center and eliminated the kill stoppage. At the same time, we are consulted with the suppliers to uh, provide the uh, consistent uh, CV. So now at present, we are getting the in the range of the 3,000 3, to more than uh, 5,000 kilocalorie per kg. We are providing the steering line for the blending of solvent within the storage tank to minimize the CV variations in the system. As everybody knows, alternate liquid and pharma waste are having the chloride content, which increase of the chloride content in the solvent affecting uh, the kill operation due to coating formation and also influencing the uh, corrosion of the pre cyclone liquid. For the, this reactification, we limited the chloride content to 0.15% before unloading the system. And we uh, same time, we modified the pre cyclone dip tube with honeycomb design and avoid the dip tube failure. And another challenge was the jamming of the filter. Filter and jamming of solvent uh, firing filters affecting the flow of solvent to the burners. So for this reactivation, we modified and provide additional filter for minimize the flow of the variation. Utmost challenges are uh, at when we are using the pharma waste is the order. Order at sometimes emits from the storage tank whenever they be unloading the tanks. Thus, um, because of the internal uh, system pressure of the tank, uh, gases are coming out and the uh, bad orders are flow into the uh, surrounding area. For this scatter, we installed the scraper system for order control. This is very unique system. Very few companies are installed in the for install this scraper system to cater the order control when we are they are using the liquid pharma. Install scraper system having the dry and the wet scraper to avoid order emission from the storage tank to the atmosphere. In the dry scraper, dry scraper was on the principle of the dry adsorption method where all orders component pass through activated carbon bed and most of orders creating VOCs get trapped. VOCs means uh, volatile organic components. Now, then a wet scraper. Wet scraper was on the principle of wet absorption method. The gases from the dry scrapers are being passed through the wet scraper, where water sprinkles totally remove any remaining VOCs presents. And only fresh air is released to the atmosphere to blower and the chimney. The wet scraper column is packed and scraper packing to increase the contact between gas system and the water droplet to increase the efficiencies. As I said, this is a very unique uh, system along with the 12 crore capacity of the total uh, 
installed capacity of the air traffic system. This is the additional we have installed the 50 lakhs system of the scrubber. And this is supplied by the Amazon India Chennai. Because of the quality fluctuation from the different suppliers, we have also installed the FL lab at our premises for analysis of the moisture, volatiles, flash points, fire points, viscosity, and other major and the minor constituents. These are the typical analysis of the spent organic uh, solvents utilized for the co-processing, proximate analysis, and the analysis. analysis. We have developed in-house mechanized system for disposal of waste, gas, uh, grease, and the solid AFR generation in the plant and the colony. Now, we are uh, discussing the journey of the, we have restarted the journey in 2012 and 30. Efforts made to increase, for increase the TSR percentage, as you see, the only 0.93% TSR was there in 2012 and 13, and gradually we increased up to the 3.75 up to uh, in 21-22 up to uh, end of the uh, up to 21. But as you see in the graph, there was a huge dip in the 17-18 and 18-19. This is because of the uh, high chloride content. There was a uh, series of failure of the diffuse. So we have taken the action to improve the FR consumptions. FR burner modified. We have modified the 40 OBA to 60 OBA nozzles, modified the pH bottom cyclone dip tube with honeycomb designed to avoid the dip tube failure and increase the AFL consumption. AFL solvent storage tank discharge pipe increased from 2 inches to 4 inches and additional filter provide for minimize the flow variation. Benefits with the increase of the TSR percentage, we could achieve the sustainable growth in the reduction of CO2 emission and coal consumption to conserve natural risk. In 2018-19, we uh, approximate uh, more than 6,000 ton metric ton emission reduction, uh, which has increased up to the uh, 17,290 17, uh, by the end of the October in 2021-21. In the same manner, in 18-19, we saved more approximate 4,000 ton metric ton of coal by using the AFR, which are increased up to the 10,500 of uh, saving of the coal by using the liquid air. Intangible benef benefits by the co-processing, the first one is the avoid land disposable, reduction in greenhouse gas emission, conversion of waste into energy, Conver conservation of fossil fuels and raw metal resources, air environmentally responsible image. The sustainable journey of the MCW continue with the higher strides, adding value to environment and sustainability. For future plan, uh, our target is to achieve the as five percent with the existing system at five percent TSR, and also planning to install solid AFR system to achieve the ten percent TSR.